Rocky. Oh, sorry, I was just doing some Tai Chi. Folks, welcome to Pisa and to the greatest architectural disaster since the Tower of Babylon, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. There are two reasons why the tower is leaning. The first is Pisa's proximity to the sea, and technically the fact that they were building on what we call alluvial soil. Hard and compact on the surface, but very marshy underneath. Second reason is that for a 55 meter tall bell tower, or about 183 feet in height, they built on a mere three meters of foundation. So within a decade of the first phase of construction, the entirety of the tower began to sink, at which point they stopped building. About a century later, they decided to continue the construction with what they thought was an ingenious solution, and that is to build one side of the tower taller than the other, hoping that visually the curvature would kind of correct the lean. Unfortunately, that didn't work out either, and the entire tower sank even further. Finally, they decided to call it quits and simply to put that belfry up there at the end of the 14th century and to essentially terminate construction. But what happened was that gravity continued to do what it's always done, and that is to pull the bell tower down. And so the lean gradually increased about five millimeters per year, eventually reaching a 4% out of vertical lean. And so, in fact, in recent times, they were so concerned that the entirety of the structure would topple over that a major restoration, uh, in fact, took place, and they were able to restore that tower to a lean where essentially it was about 300 years ago and to lock it in place and to conserve it for all of us to enjoy.